How guys, Budget Boy Tommy here again. Um, absolutely stoked for you guys now. Um, you've got the workshop and you've got all the bits and bobs to go with it. So, well done. Um, hopefully we'll see some really cracking videos coming out and some good pictures. Um, I'm still in a test build at the minute because I can't transfer this over to the uh, the retail side. Um, so I'll just see, show you what I've done on my world for the workshop, see if you can get any ideas, and then I'll start it again on the retail side. Um, but cracking job. Let's have a look. So um, this. This is the, I call it a dragon hall. Basically, backstory for this one. Um, they killed off the last of the dragons in the kingdom. And they used the scales to build this. Now, it's better in the dark, so we'll get that darkened out. And we'll show you a little bit around it. I'll show you the, I, I, basically, I don't want to make this too long. Um, but I want to show you the wizard's tower because I've completely customized that now and hopefully I'll be able to bang along to the dark wizard's tower as well and show you a bit of that one um, let's get rid of that okay so the dragon hall basically nearly all custom blocks in there got like the scale effect going on and if I could fly this thing properly I wouldn't keep flying into the walls but that's it there and we've got our double helix of lights going up so there you go quick go on that one wizard's tower let's have a pop over still the same on the outside apart from a few changes um, I managed to mean make uh, proper lamp posts a little bit of decoration outside and then we'll go in now what we'll do is we'll knock it back to daytime because this thing looks nicer when you're inside when it's a bit lighter see what's going on so we'll just pop in what the decoration going on so your detail from your workshop you get some pretty epic stuff going on so I've added a few bits and bobs obviously uh, banners wizard's pipe quite partial to his uh, curtains so I've got some nice big banners going on they go all the way up I'll show you them properly in a minute but my balconies got a little bit seating all the balconies are done out and I've got my stairway so we'll go down the dancers at the minute we'll start from the bottom and work our way up I'll show you each floor hopefully I'll be able to do it pretty quickly so I don't want you guys falling asleep halfway through the video and if you hear snoring I've already fell asleep so right bottom right pipes I've got my steam pipes in finally managed that and um, we've got the furnace going so we've got the piping in the furnace and that piping goes all the way up the next floor a little bit of seating in that I've run out of custom blocks because I've used them all um, so I didn't manage to do anything with the long drops but <laughs> what I was thinking of doing is if I can get this back on uh, let's have a look you know what it is I've played this game so long and I still kind of get these menus um, what I was thinking of doing is Can still long drops, a couple of BDs. So now 
when the wizard goes for a dump we've got a beard here to wash his nether regions all nice and clean a um, little bit of decoration down here so next floor uh, do we go up the dancers? yeah we'll go up the dancers get rid of that again excuse the waffling it's been a while since I've done a video uh, so I'm not on my best so we've got the customs going on bit of seating just a uh, bit of tableage bit of chairage got a couple of nice cupboards going on the beds just a simple thing why come up with that just just a flat block stick it on top makes your pillars see just do it in white because white goes with anything then you've got your outline of your your color around your pillars and that gives you your bed effect dead easy got the pillars going up we'll not bother with the stairs go straight up the hatch Woo all right and there's the drawbridge the drawbridge the port colors got a chained got a working mechanism sort of um, quite effective if I stop spinning around like a noob I'll show you a bit of decoration on the bottom there got a table edge got my room in here double bed <laughs> ladders need ladders to get up the top bunk bit of seating a bit of curtainage next floor up again it's a simple one just a bit of seating in there squared a few things off just a simple place sit and have a drink a little chat talk about the uh, the dwarves and the pawn habits next floor same thing pretty standard a bit of flowerage in the corner next one being on this one let's go straight up right now then where's my door there we go so we've got the big banners going all the way up all the way at the top balconies are all decorated that's the start of the stairway okay next floor hopefully I'll not miss one your library a big banners going up a bit of decoration on the ceiling there put a bit just something different around the walls and that got my books lying around I think the wizard will be a bit miffed like people leaving books lying all over the place put them back on the shelf man how are you there we go Postman's just been dropped a load of stuff through the old letterbox there. Yeah. Next floor. Up again. Hopefully this will be the old bedroom. If I can find it. Yeah, there it is. So got my, my cupboards. If it's better a bit dark. Yeah, take a bit of the shine away. Ah, that's better right so got my banners coming from the curtain rails bit of decoration that's a the floor decoration a few shelves some funkiness going on I love the double helix um, I love playing around with them 
I'm gonna make some, hopefully try and make some uh, tornado style things going on later on. There's a cupboards. There's his bed. You can see we've got the curtainage around the side. Got our sloping blocks. Just a mix and match of all the customs you can do. Right, and then the old ceiling and just your standard roof still. There you go. So that's the wizard's tower. Now hopefully if I can get myself oh you bugger. I'm lost. <clears throat> now we'll pop over to the dark wizard's tower. What I'll do, I'll make it light while we're going. So you can see some of the other stuff I've knocked up. And there we go. So basically all decorated on there. We've got little money boxes for the marketplace. The bathhouse decorated that. Go through. You've got your custom water in there, so there's always water there now. Nice reflections going on. Bit of plantage going on. All the baths you've seen this, so not much difference. But we have decorated the rooms a little bit. Um, Stuck a bit of curtainage in, a few chairs, quite effective, the cupboards and that. Just brings it out there, a bit more curtainage. So, and we've added a fruit orchard. Some apples growing on the trees, a few plants in between, just add a bit of colour and that. In the village, oh dear me, we went mental in here. There's plants everywhere. Look at the clip of that. You've made hanging baskets. <laughs> Got my fences and my gates. Everything's decorated, all the rooms done. Um. I knocked up a, a bit of an anvil sort of thing for the smithy. A little horseshoe hanging off it. That's not a bead here by the way. The smithy doesn't, uh, he uses a bucket. Um, that's for his uh, cooling his swords down. Now, do we go through the, yeah we'll pop through the mine on the way. added a bit you know made the gold and the silver just pop through here nice and dark just added a bit of decoration here and there we edged it up um, just to make it look more lived in. No broken down bit. It's all wrecked and knackered. I could have done with another 500 custom blocks, like. Um, the ideas that when you start building your customs like the ideas you'll start coming up with are pretty phenomenal gets uh, gets a bit silly when you're in your workshop and you're, <laughs> you're you're trying to work on about six different custom blocks at the same time it's weird down the bridge ooh have a little look at the main camp 
knocked up a sort of engine affair going on. Got to power the the cutters and that. I haven't done much in here yet. Um, obviously, this is the test build, so I'll, I'll not be doing anything more in here either. Um, where were we going? Aye. Wizard's Tower. The old Dark Wizard. There's his big gold. I think you can see, cleared the forest out of here as well. Got rid of all the trees. I've also added the the water down here, which it should have been. Get the nice reflections. Bang on through. Got some breakage. See the tower there waiting. It's what crane, crazy crane. All the houses are decorated now around here. Got a little scullage going on in the window. Gearage. Now, see if we can get into this bloody tower. So, there we go. Start the tower. And then we have the room there. He has all his minions sitting down, listening up and talk a load of bollocks. Lolta for him to stand on, dishing out his orders. The decoration for the lamps. I've added a bit of pipage to the wall. Just for a bit of decoration. Just the odd little bit here and there. Just to take the bareness off. I've got my books. Dark Wither doesn't mind the books lying around because he's a messy git anyway. Um, got our ladders for our bookcases. He often has a little bit of money kicking about. He likes to count it. He has it lying all over the place. The minions touch it, he turns them back into newts. Big ladders taking you up so you can get your books. There's a note in here. Get up here. Show you the bedrooms. Uh, what's this? That's bedroom, mate. So we've got our four poster going on, bit of curtainage in. Just a little little room there. He's got his money lying around. And there's his other bed there. That's obviously, you know, remember, I told you, he gets drunk, pays the bed. So he's got two beds. Once he's paid it, he can sleep in the other one until it dries out. Bit of pipe edge, we've got all as. I'm, uh, I'm going to make something to go in this centre bit here. So we've got something to be altering about. But that'll come in the next one when I go into the retail. I'll rebuild all this. I'll probably change a few of the blocks as well, make them better if I can. Um, there you have it, Wizard's Tower. Uh, both of them, that's what I've done so far. Um, how long will I be in? 19 minutes, 20 minutes? We'll better leave it at that. 
Take care of yourselves. Bye now.